Hello my fellow modeling YouTubers. Welcome to CBD's models. In this video I build complete paint everything and an Airfix 148 Supermarine Spitfire part one A and I used extra extra decal transfers as well. Um didn't fancy either of those schemes that you get with it. Anyway, so this completed model. Uh, if you would, please watch the build. Uh, this large swears where I didn't video anything because I've been struggling lately. Just sitting at the bench and doing something, never mind videoing it. Anyway, so uh, you know, if you can, please watch to the end. Give us a like if you can. You know, a thumbs up. And I feel like I've got my mind job back now because uh, this is next. I've got all the paints for it. Well, I've had, I've had to order a couple, and they should be on their way. But with the way the public services in this country are all on strike. I don't know when they'll arrive, so and, uh, at the moment, well it's December 14th today I think, at the moment it's extremely cold in Britain, north of England, uh, and my phone is saying it's uh, minus four, and it's nearly 11 o'clock in the morning here, anyway, so um, I'll have to see when they arrive, but I'm going to start building it, and I'm going to change my format a bit, where I'm just going to video it, not do any talking and we'll have to see how it goes anyway so uh, see you later hello and welcome to uh, my build of the Airfix 148 scale Super Marine Spitfire Mark 1 now you may have seen my inbox review uh, that's on my channel of this kit and it's in, it looks to be very detailed. Anyway, so I've uh, started some of it. I've cut out all the parts for off this page and the next page so that we can paint up and get it to where it goes into the uh, cockpit. So you've got the comp complete. So I've uh, primed some of the parts in Vallejo Light Grey Primer. And you can see how uh, pretty detailed this is uh, but <coughs> on the pilot's uh, seat I've drilled out all the holes and uh, it just needs uh, interior green and all the other colours painting and I'm also going to put the pilot in it looks to be okay so I shall uh, prepare to get some painting done well, yeah, and if this, it's a piece of polystyrene that I use to uh, plonk my uh, pieces in, but I've wrapped it in, in uh, shrink wrap, cling film, whatever you want to call it, to stop all those little nobbles coming off, so it keeps it nice and tidy, okay? Back shortly. Okay, so... <clears throat> For the uh, interior green of these RAF planes that I do, I use Humbrol Acrylic Matte 78 and this is straight from the bottle because it's, I've been using it, uh, it quite a while, it's been thinned down lots of times, it's pretty thin now, so I just use it as it is now. And if I get the uh, airbrush going, as you can see it comes out nice. So only the front portion of this fuse large gets the interior green. Behind it is going to be aluminium. I'll just paint that. Same with this that bit. This part here 
is going to be aluminium so we'll just paint the front portion in all the nuts and crannies so I'll get on with that we'll speed the video up and we'll get on with this Okay, so there's some parts of the interior of the cockpit need painting aluminium, so that's what I'm going to do now. I've already masked them up, ready. Okay, all the uh, cockpit parts are painted now, <clears throat> and I've done a tiny bit of weathering on them. Just make it look that lived in. I'm just waiting for the matte varnish to dry. Uh, I can start gluing things together. Um, the instrument panel don't look too bad, so it's a transfer. Let's add a set of microsol on it to make it come for him. <coughs> my panel has been painted up I'm not very good at painting figures but he's been painted up and he's got his uh, Dawson his uh, red gloves on that all my part aircrew wear so we'll come back to it and we'll uh, when I start gluing it together I'll show you Okay, um, started uh, assembling the cockpit tub Oops. and things aren't as straightforward as, as it might seem <clears throat> getting these parts in you've got to line them up correctly otherwise it's a lot of faffing about and the slits for this for the bulkhead here they weren't, weren't wide, wide enough so I've trimmed them out a bit so I'll, it's gone in it weren't going in before 
So oh, this is the next one. And I think we've got the same problem here. Oh, and I've broke it now. Okay, things have moved on a bit. Uh, Pilot's in his cockpit and I'll put the cockpit in the fuselage. All the bits are in. Uh, I just need to uh, put the fuselage halves together and glue it. It looks to be quite a good fit, to be honest. So, I shall uh, glue it up. Okay, so uh, fuselage arms is, is together now. Um, unfortunately, the pilot has come out from inside down here, and I can't see him itself getting it back in without opening up. So, uh, unfortunately, that's going to, have to stay out. Uh, this part is next, which is the cover, and it's not all I've got to fit. I've had to. Uh, Good bit of a decent fit. I've had to sand down this part here, these parts here, and also uh, 
it needs painting on the inside so I've started painting that and brush painting on it flipping getting it airbrush out for just for that little bit and I've started doing the wing assembly on the undercarriage and if you've wanted to build this kit be warned these two parts here C30 and C31 are very fiddly let's get in and I'm guessing that's where the uh, landing struts connect to anyway I've got them in now I'm about to get my visor out so I can see what I can, how we're doing and the next part goes across here to, and I guess that that locks these in so I'll just do that I'm not opening up the uh, gun base I think it's a, you know, a bit super superfluous. Anyway, moving on. I can't say that I'm happy with the fit and of this kit, to be honest. Um, I've put glue along there because it it just doesn't fit. I can't get, get it, and, and now I'm just squash it down. And I've already, already had to do it with that side. Do the same thing. And when I've test fitted the wing to the fuse lodge, that doesn't fit brilliantly either. I've, had, I've sanded down a lot of this part here. And it's, and it's still going to need some fettling. Yeah, so well, maybe it's me, I'm just, you know. Not much cup, or I've made a mistake somewhere, or but everything looks to be right. I just don't, you know. Uh, uh, I've had to do on the wing leading edge. Let's put a bit of filler here and there. That's had filler in there. Oh, it needs something down. Let's see. That needs a. That's come apart there. Need to put some more glue in, clamp it. Yeah, so overall, it's not a tummy kit, okay? is it? I'm up for it. Anyway, moving on. Okay, um, wings are on now. Uh, I'm not happy with this kit. I can't say I'm happy with this kit. It's uh, been a lot of work up to now, especially on the wings, getting them to fit. I've had to sand off a lot, a lot of the bottom of the uh, cockpit tub to get the wings to fit. And then it, I've had to put filler in as well and uh, do some sanding. So yeah, I can't, you know, I'd say this is a modern kit from Airfix, it's not all that brilliant to be honest. And it's put me off making the Mark 5. Anyway, uh, sanded the seams down. Just need some more parts on it before we can start painting, thinking about painting. Okay. So I'll get them cut out and glue them on. Okay. Okay. Um, I have uh, painted the Spitfire up now, and I've uh, like varied the uh, the colours a little bit to give it a bit of weathering. Need to uh, peel this lot off. I haven't fit video on it. Sorry, um, my audio is really low. But building models at the moment, this has took a while. Anyway, I'll get that off. And we'll get some uh, gloss varnish on then for, for the ready for the transfers. All right. See you shortly. Okay, the uh, Spitfire is painted. I've weathered it a little bit. You can see the gun stains. And the 
transfers are on. So I'm uh, going to start putting all the uh, ancillary bits on, undercarriage and what have you. And then give it a map coat and we'll call it it. It's all nothing. And there's my uh, completed Spitfire with extra de extra decal transfers on. Can't remember which squadron it is, but it's in uh, June 1940, set in June 1940. I quite like it, it's Gru. If you uh, no, it's from a film, isn't it? <coughs> anyway, so <I'll coughs> switch that on. And I've done some a little bit of weathering with oil paints, do smoke stains, and some dark grey for the exhaust. That's been picked up by the camera. Also did a Flores model wash on it, dark dirt wash as well so overall it, it looks like a Spitfire it's uh, just some things I didn't like about it maybe it, I made mistakes, some parts didn't fit all that well but it got there in the end so hope you like this video if you do please give us a thumbs up and if you leave a comment I'll try and uh, reply to it to try and reply to all comments I haven't been on my, looking at my YouTube lately I haven't had there's so much going on in life it's uh, difficult anyway like I say, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which could well be a Ravel 32nd scale Mustang, but we'll have to see. Alright, thanks for watching, bye bye.